Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the tutorials on Galaxy for Bioinformatics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to import data from the SRA database to Galaxy. Alright, so I have some examples here that I will show you. So if you are going to import data from SRA into Galaxy, you don't need to download the data and then upload again. You can just use the session IDs. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Right. So we are going to look at two things here. We are going to look at getting the data in the fast queue format. So we will look at single end and then pair then data. So you can see I already have some example data here, but I'll show you how to do them now. So first of all, make sure to create an account on the Galaxy platform and then log in. Then you can proceed. So let's start. So we will begin by creating a new history. All right. So that will help us to track our data. So what I'll do is to create a new history for myself. So I'll just come to this side, click on create a new history. So I'll just name it SRA. That's it. Perfect. So I now have a new history. So I'm going to import the data into this history. So after doing this, then we need to go and take a look at our data. I mean, there are different ways to get the accession IDs, but for now, let's just say we know the accession IDs. All right. So I'll start with this one here. Let's go with this one. So I'll start with a single end data. All right. So I will leave this assertion ID also in the discussion. So this one here, that's what we have. I've been using this data a lot in my class. It's a long read data. So I need this assertion ID. Or you can also check here. Okay. So I will just leave the link, the useful links in the description. So use them to get assertion ID. So for now, this assertion ID. So I'll just do a copy. And then I'll come to my Galaxy platform. And then when I'm here, there's a tool that can help us do that. So come to this site, tools, and search. So type SRE. So when you type SRE, you have a list of apps coming here. So we have to use this one. We will use the faster download and extract routes in fast scale formats. All right. So there's the tool itself. Right. So if let's say SRE is not returning, you can just also Type this, let's say faster download, etc. So you can just type this full text here. That will also bring the two here. So any of them should be fine. The most important thing is to get the two. So after getting this, we just click it, and then you will have this interface coming up. So we need to enter the accession ID or accession IDs. But for this particular scenario, we just want a single accession ID. We are going to use a single accession ID. Let me put it that way. And so when you are here, we already have SRR accession, but it doesn't necessarily have to be SRR accession. All right, so you can use that or you can use any valid accession ID like what I'm using. Mine is not SRR, but it's still going to work. But if you have the SRR accession ID, so that's perfect. That's great. You can still use it. All right, so any anyway, it's fine. So this one will work. Anyway, we'll try with the SRR also. That's fine. So let's come back to our Galaxy platform. So here, just paste your accession ID. This is what we are going to use, right? So yeah, you can even see it says, must start with SR, DR, ER, etc. So we are already using the ER, which is valid here. So that's what I was making mention of. So you paste it here, and then that's it. You don't have to do anything. Just come and then run the tool. So you can run it here or here. So any of them is fine. So now click run tool. So when you click it, you will have some stuff coming up here. Okay, so we will have to wait for the data to get ported for us and then we can proceed. So let's wait for that to be done. Okay, the data has been imported, so we have it here. So we can continue. Now we have four outputs here. So we have paired end data, we have single end data, we have other data, we have fast scale dump log. Now these two pair then data and then single data these are data set collections so data set collections allow us to combine multiple data sets into a single entity and then you can do a batch processing all right so it's a powerful tool that you can use to process multiple files or multiple samples now let's take a look at them let's start with a single end all right so single end if you just look at it, it says a list with one data set so one so if you click it you'll find the data itself here you can still click it to just look at some properties here. So this is what? Pascal database 
etc. Anyway, so the most important thing now is that we have the data imported for us. Let's go back to the main history. So because we are learning with a single length data, this one will be zero. Okay, so it says a list with zero pairs. If you click it, there's nothing there. Because this accession ID that we are using, the data set that is linked to it is a single length data. So that is why this one will have a data in it. There's an entry here, but this there will be no entry. So that's what you need to you know. And so depending on your analysis, you can choose to remove this because it's zero by the way. And other data is also zero, so you can also remove it. And the fast kill dump lock here, there's a lock file. So you can use it to look at what happened or what was done. I mean, it's locked. So we can check it to see, to get more information about what you did. So this is how we import a single end data. I repeat, this is how we import a single end data from the SRA database.